got the juice and the squeeze. Double tap on the gram, I'm a tease. I got the juice and the squeeze. Double tap on the gram, I'm a tease. In the DM, he begging me, please. Like, Millie, just give me a piece. <laughs> So I was supposed to actually head back to the flower store today. I wanted to buy flowers today, but look at this freaking line just to get in there. Like, I'm not waiting in this shit. I should even try to still go, you know, because there's so much time in the day. I could still go. But I just been sitting here and just thinking and just thinking about like everything that I'm doing and all the things that I have planned that I want to do in the future and I'm just really proud of myself, guys. Like, I'm so proud of myself because, like, I came from a very, 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 very far place, right? Just in terms of um, how I started my business and how it's going right now and, um, like, the things that I have planned for it in the future and whatnot that I'm working on. And I'm just so proud of myself. And I feel like, I don't take the time to appreciate myself that much as I should, you know? And I feel like that's just an entrepreneur thing. Like, we don't sit down. I don't I got this white shit in the corner of my mouth. My mouth is, like, dry and shit. Put some Vaseline on my lips. But we have this thing where we don't freaking, um, what do you call it? Where we don't, we don't, you know, like, take the time and smell the roses, while we're walking by we just walk by them and just call it that and we don't we don't appreciate the roses when we see them you know and that gotta stop i know for me for sure it has to stop because then i don't i, I don't i don't feel like you know i'm doing enough like even though sometimes i be doing the most like i, I hear killing shit sometimes you know you guys let me know if you guys ever feel like that with yourself you know if you have um a business or um you know just anything that you're doing if you have a business or if you have a youtube channel you've been really consistent with it sorry y'all my alarm went off but yeah let me know in the comments if you guys feel the same way because that's how i be feeling a lot sometimes you know and i get into like these moods where it's just f everything and i don't care like you know and i feel like because i don't take time to appreciate myself is why i go through these 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 points where i'm just like f everything i don't want to be bothered i don't want to talk to nobody da, da, da. and it shouldn't be like that you know what i mean but i think it's because i'm not appreciative of myself why i get to those points every now and then you know but i don't know maybe it's just me you guys let me know how you guys think what you guys think and how you guys feel about that right because you guys have to remember like i started selling plates in um in 2016 that's when i initially first started selling plates and i honestly had no clue what the f i was doing at that point like dead ass no clue um i had no help at that point um i was just you know people kept telling me like yo mila your food looks so nice you should sell it and i'm like i right, cool let's just do it and i started doing it and i was doing delivery it was me by myself so imagine me by myself cooking all these cooking a bunch of food then driving all around the city delivering it to people and it was just too much and i got burnt out so quick so i'm just like you know what i don't even want to do it anymore f it you know but then again i started cooking and posting and people were like oh my gosh mila like yo like can i get some like i'll pay you like what's going on like you know and i told myself you know what let's rock and let's roll let's let's get it and i'm gonna stay consistent with it regardless of how hard it might get let's just you know roll with it and see what's happening so it was the plates banging out the plates doing really good for a season and you know like i had a i had a one hiccup i had a hiccup one night i bit off more than i could chew it was a disaster. I was burning things left, right, and center. It was a mess. It was a mess. But you know what? One thing about me, I'll always admit where it is that I went wrong, you know, in a situation. And I'm a, I'm a, I, I'll take accountability. You know what I mean? And I took accountability for that. And I'm just like, yo, I need help. This thing is getting really big. I need some shit. I need some help. 
like it's okay to need help it's really okay to need help there's nothing wrong with asking for help and that's something that i'm learning and getting used to and there's nothing wrong with delegating other tasks to other people so that you can focus your time on more important tasks right so you can prioritize right there's nothing wrong with that and you know like in that night like i'm just so thankful that I was interacting with with people that were more than understanding with what I was going through that night. You know what I mean? In terms of customers. And one thing about me, <laughs> I'm about my customer service, period, like 100 percent. So if you're not satisfied with something or your order was wrong or you got the wrong item or whatever, I'll always make sure I I'm. I always make sure that your 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 concern is under is under that you sorry I can't even talk but I'll always make sure that you know your concern is being heard and I understand and I will you know be, apologize for whatever mishap or whatever and on top of that I'm gonna I'm gonna get you right I'm gonna get you right and then some you know what I mean? So if you ordered the mac and cheese with the wings, you see what I'm saying, and the cornbread and you 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 ordered an extra you ordered an extra cornbread and a, and an extra mac and cheese on the side but you didn't get the extras you know what that's my bad but you know what you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bless you with the extras on the top of the extras you feel me because that's just how i am and i just feel like that's what customer service is you have to rectify whatever the situation is with your customer and however they may have felt that they weren't satisfied and you satisfy that need you satisfy it right and i don't give a shit it depends it, it doesn't even matter whether someone paid you five dollars twenty dollars a hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars like you have to make sure like you come 100 percent correct like you know what i mean and i'm not always i'm human we're all human and you know what i mean like i don't always make the the right calls at the right time you know what i mean and if I don't, guess what? I'll humbly accept that. I'll humbly accept it. And I will do I will do my due diligence as as the other party in the situation and make it right however I can, you know? But yeah, like that that was the plates and then and then I got into catering and the catering was cool, like, you know, but I always said like I didn't want to do the catering. Like I didn't want to do it. I hated it. I hated the catering. I wanted to, I really wanted to do the private dining. That's what I really wanted to do, you know, and what you want to do versus what your brand calls, what you may think is a good idea versus what your brand and your target audience says is, is the better idea may be two different things and they may collide. And you know what? It's not that I didn't enjoy doing, I didn't enjoy doing either of those, but I knew in the back of my mind. I want to do my seasonings straight up. I knew in the back of my mind, aside from the plates, the, the catering, the private dining, I really want to do cookbooks and seasonings. Like that was a thought in my mind from 2018. I would talk to my friends and I would tell them, like my close friends, and I would tell them like, yeah, like I want to do this. I want to do it. Like, you know, like I want to do it. Right. And I really didn't know how to fuck to do it. I really didn't know how to do it. And, you know, and then the pandemic hit. And I was just like, you know what? Now's the time, Mila. Because at that point, everyone's inside. No one knows um, what's going to happen, how if outside's going to be open and businesses are shutting down. The designer stores on Blur Street are boarding up their stores. All types of shit. Everyone thought the world was ending. No cap. Everyone really thought that, you know, it's, it's about to go down. Like, we're all about to be in smithereens. Like, is it was crazy. Right. And I'm just like, you know what, Mila? It's them time there. It's them time there. Buckle down. Do what you got to do. Work on the seasonings. <laughs> we going to create those mixtures. Period. We going we to gonna, we gonna get the bottles. Right. Like, guys, I even still have a bunch of bottles that I ordered that were way too big. That were way too big. That I'm like, nah, these are way too big. I'm not selling these. These are way too big. No, 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 no. I... <laughs> They're at my mom's house. I got to get them and show you guys. Like, those bottles are way too big. But you know what I'm going to actually do with them? I'm going to organize my personal, um, like, my spices and herbs that I have in my, in my, um, 
in my cabinet. I'm going to organize them with those bottles since they're too big, right? And just, you know, like paprika, garlic powder, on all of that, all of that. So I'm going to use those and um, organize my personal stash. Because I was, my mom's just like, what are you doing with these? Like, do you need these still? And I'm like, oh shit, I forgot about them. I really forgot about them. But yeah, so, you know, like I just, you know, I just went with that. And um, it's been working. It's really been working. And I'm just so thankful. Like, I'm just super thankful. Like, my cookbooks did exceptionally well. Like, better than I had expected it to do at that point in time. You know, because we're in such a weird space in time in society where, with the pandemic and whatnot. And I'm just like, you know what? F it. It's up and it's stuck. We, we, let's go. Let's get it. Like, let's do it. And then I followed up with the seasonings and whatnot. And I know, like, you know, a lot of people are disappointed and like, oh my gosh, Mila, like, can I get a food from you catering this, that? Can you just do a little, a little thing for me? Like, just a little sneaky thing. Like, no one has to know that. No, because I don't know. I really don't do that anymore. Like, I, I really don't. You know what I mean? Because that was not something that I wanted to do. That was not. A, a, a long-term goal for me right that was something temporarily because at the end of the day like i wanted to put my cooking out there and whatnot so that you guys do know what my palate is like what my hand is like so that when i do stop dro start dropping my cookbook and seasonings you guys are already know and trust me and say yeah like mila's food is fire i'm copping that what do you mean yeah the lem the the cajun season copping that with the chicken hot the seafood you guys know about mila's laps yo banging copping that no questions asked the mac and cheese copping that the cook copping that the cornbread don't get me <laughs> don't get me started like what i'm just yo you guys don't even understand i'm just so blessed and like i was literally just sitting here thinking about like my journey with my business and how it's been so far and i'm far from where i want to be but i'm damn near a long way from where i friggin came from and i just i i'm just so thankful i'm so freaking thankful like and i'm thankful to everyone that supports me and i i owe it all to you guys because like yo i'm gonna <laughs> i get emotional but there was days where I really, really, really did not even want to continue doing shit. And you guys, like, yeah, you guys definitely gave me the push. Like, there will be random days where I just, I'm like, yo, F it. I don't want to do this anymore. Whatever, right? And then I would get a random DM or a random snap or just super random out of the woodworks. Like, oh my gosh, Mila, like, you know, like. I love everything you're doing. Just keep going. Keep pushing. Like, you know, keep going. Keep going. And like, yo, things like that is really what kept me going through through the days where I'm just like, forget it all. I don't even want to do it. I don't want to do anything. Like, you know, I feel like that at so many times. But I feel like with entrepreneurship, girl, it's not even a journey. It's a roller coaster. Like, you're up and you're down. You're up and you're down. You're up. Like, what? Huh. Tell me about it. Like, one day one day you could you can make five hundred dollars next day zero next day 50 next day 20 next day 1000 like it's crazy it's super crazy and you know what that's why you just have to hope for the best but prepare for the worst at all times you have to stay ready so you don't gotta get ready so i'm saying because if if you were if on the days where where you know you you feel most fulfilled those are the days where you have to keep that feeling in your back pocket and carry it with you going forward so that on the days when you're feeling low and you're feeling like, forget this, what's the point? Like, I don't want to do this anymore. You're super frustrated. You've had it up to here with everything. Those are the days that you sit back and you remember those glory moments. Literally visualize those moments and how you felt in those exact moments. For me, I sit back and I think about all the love that I received when I when I dropped my first cookbook. I I sit back and I receive the day when I sold the most plates. I sit back and I think about the reaction on people's faces when they when they when they would pick up their plates from me and how excited they would feel. I sit back and think about all the people that messaged me and said, "Yo, like 
I F with you, Mila. Like, the long way. Like, you're so inspirational. Like, I love you. Like, everything you're doing, like, keep doing it. Like, those are the things that I think about on the days where I don't even want to do my shit. When I don't feel motivated. You know, and we're human. So, we all go through those times where we don't feel as motivated as you know we did on day one on day 10 and that's normal right but you have to like you know keep some shit tucked away in your back pocket for later on when when you feel like you know you can't do this but yeah guys i'm just freaking yeah i'm just feeling like grateful right now so i just like you know i didn't even know who who need to hear this but baby Mm-hmm. You need to hear it. So who I, I don't know who this message is for, but somebody need to hear it. It was just on my heart today. You know, I just wanted to, you know, talk about, about that. Because I feel like so many people ask me all the time, like, Mila, why don't you sell the plates anymore? And this, that, and the third, and da 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 Like, because, guys, this is why, you know? And there's so many things that I want out of life for myself. If you know me, you'll know, like... I don't ever stick to just doing one thing. That's not me. I, I, I'll feel like I'm in a box. You know what I mean? And I, I can't be put in a box. Like me personally, I feel like I'm way too creative to just put myself into one thing and just stick to it for the rest of my life. That's too boring for me personally. I, I can't I can't picture that. You know what I mean? I always I I'm always liking to try new things and test myself and challenge myself to do better and go beyond what i've already done like and you know and i like i like going on i like going on the path that's least least traveled you know what i mean like i don't i don't like doing what everybody else is doing i like doing my own thing i like carving out my own lane i like trailblazing you know what i'm saying like i don't want to do what everybody else is doing right i don't like doing that because when you do what everybody else is doing you'll forever be a step behind you know what I'm saying, but you see, when you're a playmaker, you know what I'm saying, like <laughs> we step in, we step in, babe, all across the board. So I don't get, I don't care what it is that you do, whether you sell lashes, you do hair, your nail tech, um, um, what else? What else? You you sell the yoni steams and all of that. You know what I'm saying, like shorties is out here selling the yoni seat oils and the, the the steams and all of that, or you 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 sell you some some CBD. I don't care what you do, whatever it is that you're doing, do it to the best way that you know how. See what I'm saying? I'm only gonna do anything that I'll. Anything that I do and I put out into this universe, I'm going to do it with the Mila Mills sauce, period. Anything that I do, right? And that's how everybody should be. Everyone should, everyone's creative in their own way. Like, I hate when people say, oh, I'm not creative. I'm not creative. Like, you know, I hate that uh, because like everybody has a sense of creativity in them. You know what I mean? You may not have tapped into your niche yet to know what it is but everybody has it in them you literally do like god did not make any of us the same we are all different and we all bring different things to the table in 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 many different ways you know what i mean so yeah man like we that that's what we're on like i don't i don't have time for the beat we don't we don't do the hating you know what i'm saying we don't do that like i i f with other females that are about their bread period like all that hating stuff is, is is dead like we don't do it around here we don't compete we collab like i see other females that are winning and on their boss their boss behavior stuff and all of that and i get inspired and i get motivated to go and be on my shit too you know like i don't understand how someone could see someone living their best life and bossing up and whatnot and hate on them i can't hate it. i'd be like yes i feel like it's me too i feel like i'm winning like what because you know what at the end of the day if someone if whether i break down the door or you break down the door or sally breaks down the door the door is getting broken down period so that means that it's easier for whoever's coming after through that door period right and even if I come through the same door as you, I might even break down a different door that you didn't even know about. You see how it works? Man, let me tell you. Let me tell you about it, man. It's crazy out here. It's crazy. I'm just trying to, you know, be me in a world full of clones. That's it. 
but i'm so excited today i'm supposed to be making this um this pasta supposed to be making this pasta my kitchen's a mess i just been like freaking i got a grocery delivery today and i packed it out and whatnot but i still have a few things to pack out like i have like the orange on the counter and some mangoes and a bunch of stuff like yeah i just need to pack them out and whatnot and i still have some vegetables here that i need to pack out too i have i like freaking mopped i swept and i mopped like i like to do a monthly refresh rejuvenate reset all of that at the beginning of the month either the ending of the month or the beginning of the new month so because i had a lot going on this week i said i was gonna do it the big the first week of may and just like you know break it down and span it out little by little little by little you see so i was supposed to wash my hair this weekend and guys my scalp is <laughs> my scalp girl the dandruff is back like and in whole effect like i can't deal the dandruff is back so i'm gonna do a scalp cleanse um ebony the girl that did um my my feed and braids for me the six jumbo ones she mentioned it she's like yeah do a scalp cleanse like you know that would be really good you gotta do those she's like you've never done one i'm surprised like you know like you're so into your natural hair i'm surprised you you've never done a, a scalp cleanse i'm like no nah, girl i ain't even heard about it it's my first time so i'm just like you know what let me do a scalp cleanse and and um yeah and try to get this dandruff right i'm gonna do a scalp cleanse my deep condition all of that and then i'm gonna rebraid my hair because yeah it's summer and i i think i told you guys already in one of my previous videos i don't even remember but i think i did but this summer i'm not with it like we're popping out pretty and paid sis period even if we get to pop out anywhere because, you know, we under restrictions and shit. But <laughs> if we do get to pop out, I'm popping out pretty paid, effortless, effortless, lit, effort, girl. Okay, hold on. We popping out pretty <laughs> paid and effortlessly slaying, period. That way, like, I'm, listen, I ain't got, huh, I'm Mila. Like, I ain't got to do too much. I just got to show up, period. Like, that's the energy I'm giving uh, from now on. From not, like, I'm tired of, like, just chilling. Like, you guys didn't understand. Like, me, like, I be chilling, you know. Like, I be, ch like, chilling, like, in the back, chilling, like, not making noise. You know, and you know what? One of my friends to me said to me one time, she's like, yo, Mila, like, you're an alpha female, but, like, you're you're different because, like, you can be an alpha female and command the room if you want, but you also lay back sometimes. I'm like, yeah, because you got to know how to read the room, sis. You got to know how to read the room. See what I'm saying? Sometimes you ain't, you ain't the big dog when you come into every single room. You're not a big dog in every single room you come into. Sometimes you get into a presence of a real big dog and you got to, you know, get be humble. You gotta be humble. If I'm around some of uh, another another female, male, or whatever that I can learn from, I'm not gonna big dog them. No, I'm gonna come on a very humble vibes and be a student. Like you can't be afraid to be a student. Like you don't know it all. I don't know it all. That's for damn sure. I don't know about everybody else, but nobody knows it all. You can't afraid to be a student. That's one thing about me. Like I'm ready to learn. Like what? cryptocurrency the, 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 what like i don't know shit about cryptocurrency but <laughs> i'm just giving an example like you know you gotta be ready to learn at all stages of your life like or else you won't elevate if you think you know everything how you gonna elevate bitch that means that means that you you up there like you see that empty space up there right there that means you up there we down here and you up there if you know everything that means you should be you should should i beat them bad like on every single level you should have it made you know everything you know how to like you know how to get get everywhere like my mother's still doing this crap with the, with the vaseline too but yeah like you know everything there is to know about life so no one can talk to you no baby no that's not how we rock in like that's not how you grow and elevate and move on to different seasons and and stages of your life right by thinking you know it all i don't know it all i'm just i'm just willing to i'm willing to learn that's all it is and you can never be afraid to be a student to the game like the best teachers are people that are never afraid to learn like never right 
but anyways so i think i have i have wine i'm so i'm putting wine into this pasta but i don't know if i have enough wine to make it this is what i have left from the last time i think this is good because i think i need like um a quarter cup or some shit i don't know girl but i needed something i need something to make yeah this is gonna be good this is gonna be mm. yeah i'm so excited i've been dreaming about this pasta from with the <laughs> i've been dreaming about it i've been dreaming about it still yeah so yeah it's gonna be good mm -hmm, girl it's gonna be good but um yeah so i'm just gonna clean up this kitchen really quick and shoot I'm just really contemplating if I should go get more wine or not. Like, I'm really, really beside myself because this is a little bit. But then again, I don't even need that much because... No, but it's going to reduce once I cook it. So I don't want to... Man. Hi, caramba. Um, shit. Oh, but if I do that, I have to get ready to go. So, and you know... Girl, all right. I'm going to go put on a tracksuit and head outside because uh, shit. All right, guys. So we about to start with this this pasta right now. I just want to get, get you guys set up good so you guys can see me or whatever. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We might be on to something. We might be on to something, baby. I think we got the right angle, guys. I'm giddy right now. I think I got the right angle. I'm gonna get a plate. I think I'm gonna put this on the plate so you guys can see what's happening. What's happening? What's really good? Shout out to Bad and Bougie, yo. He's too funny. I love him. So I've been thawing out this chicken breast, Lil. So I'm gonna like tenderize it. I mean, I don't have a tenderizer, so. We don't make excuses. We make shit happen and I'm Ms. Make It Happen. You feel me? So I'm gonna just try to tenderize it with the bottle, the wine bottle, and hopefully it does what I need it to do. It should be good though. I mean, I've done it before. I've done it before. Cause I just wanna flatten out the breast, the chicken breast, so that it freaking, it's all, one even layer so that it'll cook at uh, the same time the entire chicken breast because you know when you cook a thick chicken breast and if you don't do this if you don't flatten it out and tenderize it you'll have the bulkier portion of the breast won't be cooked it'll take longer to cook and meanwhile you're practically bunning up the other side like we don't want that so we're gonna tenderize this baby and while I'm doing that, I have my um, I have the water, the pot that I'm gonna boil the noodles in. I just have it on high heat. I gotta add some salt to that just now. Just now. So I'm gonna clean the chicken in this bowl, in the mixing bowl with the vinegar and whatnot. But I'm not gonna season it in there because I want you guys to see. I gotta get some glass mixing bowl so that I don't have to do that. Like, I don't have to transfer it out. You guys can just see what's good. To keep it in the bowl. Mm -hmm. so build up your arm strength, you know. <laughs> this is a workout. I'm not even gonna front. Yeah, okay, that's good. I'm gonna be shaking up the little bit of the little bit of wine I have to make this pasta. Oh god. Oh gosh. Okay. Gucci. Okay, I'm just gonna wash this off. Tip a little bit of vinegar. Yeah. That's my nana says. Tip a little bit of vinegar in there. Tip a little bit. Okay, here you go. I should have seasoned this chicken and all of that from last night and had it marinating in the fridge. But honestly, your girl was up watching Snoopy's live, so I'm not even gonna front. I might even go front. I was watching it last night. And then I went to bed. But yeah, guys, like, just to go back on everything that I was saying from earlier on. Alright, so I cleaned up all of that. But yeah, like, I just can't wait to show you guys everything that I've been working on. Like, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. It's going to be so exciting. 
and do that little do that little piece for my daughter it's gonna be so exciting like super exciting dog Let me see you get more sexy. Okay, so I'm just taking a paper towel, clean paper towel, of course, and I'm just patting it dry because I'm going to grill this chicken. I want to take out all the moisture so that I get a nice sear when I put the chicken down in the pan on both sides. I was going to use my grill pan, but to be honest, because I'm making um, a pasta, and I'm gonna wanna make a sauce, and I'm sorry, and I'm making a sauce for it from scratch. Baby, I'm not even doing all of that, that other stuff. I'm not, I'm not putting the, um, I'm not making an extra mess since I, I have no use for the grill pan other than to grill the chicken just for, you know, aesthetic purposes to get a nice little grill mark and all of that. I'm not doing that today, I don't feel like it. On another day, if I was up to it, maybe I would, but I don't feel like it right now. So, y'all gonna get this this pan, pan seared chicken. We're just gonna sear it in the pan and then use that same pan. And um, use that same exact pan. And um, what do you call it? And made a sauce, period. So I'm gonna wash my hands because I hate when I have one hand that has the raw germs on it and the other one doesn't. It's a handicap, so we just wash all of that off so I can use my two hands. You guys know, I like, hmm, well I don't know if you guys know, but I'm gonna tell you. I do not measure, I do not measure when I'm cooking. The only time I measure is when I'm making a recipe, so. Right about now, I'm a measure because I know you guys gonna ask me, Mila, what's the recipe? And I can't be like, I don't got it. I gotta give it to you guys. So, take out my spoons and stuff, and we gonna start doing the do, you feel me? But yeah, guys, entrepreneurship is not for the faint of heart at all, like, at all. Yeah, entrepreneurship is not for, um, the faint of heart, like it really isn't. Not at all, man. Not at all, not at all. Not at all. And it's crazy because like everyone wants to be a business owner these days and all of this and you know, you know what I'm gonna do? Put it in the little thing and mix it all up. Tell me, put it in here and put everything together. Yeah, like, and it's not, it's not for everybody. Like, it's okay to have a nine to five. Like, everybody doesn't have to be an entrepreneur. Entrepreneurship is not for everybody. And like, I think people are, are really for, forgetting that. Like, it's, we still need doctors and lawyers and nurses and, you know, all those professions, the therapists, psychologists, um, um, childcare workers, firefighters, all of those things. We still need people to fulfill those roles within society right but it's also okay if you if you want to live, live a little double life babe that's okay too like period that's okay too like if you want to start your business and run your business on 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 a regular day basis and sorry on like on a side hustle and also have your nine to five that's okay too just balance it out work it out you know what i'm saying and then, hey, you never know, maybe your passion one day could turn into your full-time career because of how successful it gets. You never know, right? But you just we're just all on this, this journey called life and we're all just trying to figure it out as we go. So I don't, I don't discredit anybody because we're all just doing what we have to do to get to where we go, where we're going, period, right? So what did I do? Yeah, quarter, let's do this now. Let's do these. Let's see what's happening. And I like garlic, so I like to mix in a lot of garlic with all of my cooking. It's good. So I just did garlic powder and onion powder. And I find that onion powder is a bit more potent than garlic powder. So I try to, you know, got, got a little easy on it. All right, but I love me some paprika. I just feel like it adds um 
it adds color yeah we're not gonna do that yeah paprika adds color especially when you're making chicken like my go-to let me guys let me tell you guys a little secret my go-to when i'm making like chicken like even if i'm making a chicken pasta or something where i don't even want to do too much because there's other flavors going on in the dish paprika garlic powder meals by meals garlic pepper and a little bit of salt baby and period that's it that is it like you don't have to do too much and speaking of i'm gonna go ahead and add my meals by meals garlic pepper in here and my meals by meals chicken seasoning y'all know what's happening but yeah you don't you don't gotta do too much sometimes less is more like less is really more less is more less is truly more let's do this i'm gonna put those aside too yeah i love my chicken seasoning i put it on like everything bro but yeah man like i'm just trying to live my best life this summer you know i'm just trying to be aligned with other people that be aligned with other people that are on the same wavelength as me right and i feel like Sometimes in life, you may be connected to people and you know what? They may not be on the same wave, wavelength with you. And that's okay. Those are not your people. You got to get surrounded by some people that, you know, you feel uplifted by. And that's what I'm all about. Like right now, me personally, a bitch is rebranding my whole life. And that's okay to rebrand your whole life and show up as your desired self. Not someone who you're trying to be who you're trying not to be like you know what i mean like if your life is in shambles be like all right sis life is in shambles right now what we gonna do like this is what we gotta do we gotta do a b and c in order to become that bad b period so that's where i'm at right now like i'm becoming the bad b that i've always been however sometimes i may have shied away from my um my full potential as that right and nah i ain't doing that no more i i, I ain't tiptoeing with my potential are you crazy you think god put me on this earth to tiptoe with all the greatness he gave me per you better show out sis like we ain't doing that in 2021 nah let's add in salt to the water real quick as it boils up all right cool so let me get some oil So I find this is so nifty to have the oil in a little aerosol can. So this is coconut oil and I've been using this recently. So I'm going to show you guys how it comes out. Look, so I'm going to spray each side with the oil before I start putting on the seasoning blend. So look. Jeez. Mm-hmm. I like that. But you still got to rub. You still got to rub it. This is why I hate measuring. Like, it's, ugh, it's such a drag. Okay, I rather pour on top, and then you know that way, I eyeball it. Mm -hmm, that covers all the area. <laughs> like, <laughs> but for for y'all, I, I can't be doing that. Like, I gotta make sure I come correct. So. Making sure I get like every little crevice too, because like there's some parts of the when you buy the chicken from this, there's some parts that are like has a little pocket or slit. Just want to make sure you're getting in there too, because I want the flavor in every bite. I don't want any piece that isn't seasoned. You know, because like, oh my gosh, you have on nails and da da da. Girl, I'm eating this. This is my food. I'm not serving anybody this food. This is mine. It's going in my stomach. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't selling no plates. So I could put on some long nails if I want. And go make my food for myself. Period. Because I'm not serving anybody. But otherwise, yes, it's unsanitary to cook with nails on and serve people. 100%. That's why when you work in a the kitchen, they tell you. Your nails can only be a certain length. 
which is not even, which is not a, um, past your fingertips. And if you know, then you know that ain't no length, period. All right, it's like clumping up now, shit. Whatever, we move, I'm gonna just flatten them out. What is, what's clumping up and just flatten it out. All right, that part's done. I'm gonna set this chicken aside and go wash my hands. The thing about being, being creative and shit, like with me, I know I go through periods where I get creative block and it's real, it's real, it's real, it's real to get a creative block. Let me turn this water because I'm not ready for it yet. Let me turn it down. It's real to get a creative block, right? And that's okay. That's why you, you have to find what gives you, things that give you inspiration, things that, that bring you peace and bring you to that creative zone, that unclog your brain. And especially with us being on social media, you gotta limit your social media use. You have to, it, especially if you're a creative because you know what's gonna happen. You'll, you'll, you'll notice that, you know, when you're trying to be creative and, and be in that mind frame, right? You'll, you'll be in there literally doing things. I'm gonna put this to the side. You'll, 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 you'll literally mimic what you see, what you've been feeding your brain, right? So if I'm in a creative space and I know that I need to come with some, some yellow tape content to done the place, I can't be on the internet. You know what I mean? Like for me, like when I'm making music, I don't listen to certain, I don't listen to mainstream music when I'm in a, 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 a space where I'm creating music. Because if I listen to mainstream music, then that's gonna cloud my, my creativity. And I'm gonna start producing, producing, um, producing sounds and whatnot and, and lyrics and content that is similar to what I've been feeding my brain musically. You see what I'm saying? So that's just how it works. And, but the thing about it is, it's okay to be inspired. It is okay to be inspired. I get inspired by people all the time. It's okay to be inspired. But what we won't do is we won't do the copy and shit. Like the, the flat out copycat, copy and paste. Like, you know what I mean? That's not cool. That's not cool. Especially if you're just mimicking and you're not even giving credit to where you got the inspo from in the first place. Like, I don't like that. That's not cool because you know what? There's creatives that put a lot of heart and soul into the things that, that they create and make and whatnot. And it takes a lot of time from them and effort. And you're just ripping someone else's idea and taking it as your own. And I don't like that stuff. That's not cool at all. Right? It's okay to be inspired. But when you're when you're inspired by someone, I know me personally, when I'm when I'm inspired by someone, I literally will see what it is and be like, yo, that's hard. That is hard. I'll share it to my story or whatever. I'll be like, yo, that looks really good. Oh my gosh, this girl looks so fly. Oh, her hair looks so nice or whatever. And I'll repost it to my story or whatever. You know what I mean? Big up poof a big up and small up poof a small up. If you're Jamaican, you know exactly what I mean. Like you have to give credit to people where it's due, right? But what I won't do is flat out copy somebody. You know what I mean? That's not cool at all. And it just takes away from your authenticity as being as being being you no one can be you be you that's the magic babe be you you no one can be you that's your superpower that's your life hack being you no one can be you on the face of this earth and do it better than you because there's only one you you feel me you feel me so that's just what it boils down to right i know for me at first like you know when i like People copy you in any industry, in anything that you do in life, you know? And at first I was like, you know, when, when people would copy me with things like this, like just in general, like kindergarten, school, middle school, high, anything, you know what I mean? When people would copy me, I'd be like, oh my gosh, why are they copying me? Like, that's so annoying. Like, even think back to when you were a toddler. Why are you copying me? Stop it. Like, you know, but I've, I've come to learn that being copied, being imitation is the highest form of flattery on the face of this earth. 
on the face of this earth. Imitation, baby. So if someone's copying you, <laughs> that means you that bitch. Period. If someone's copying you, whether you think you're, you're, you're the baddest bee or not, that person thinks you're the baddest bee because they enough so that they copied you, babe. Like, don't even, don't even do that. Don't play with her. She is not one of them. Straight. This is going to be so good. Oh my gosh. But yeah. And you know what? The thing about copycats is they'll always be one step behind. Because they don't even know. By time, by time I'm on, by time I'm on step 10, you're still trying to do something about steps one through nine. You're still trying to what what did Drake say? What what did Drake say? Um, um what do you say? I think he said something about, about oh they still in um, I'm I'm on an, I'm on another one and they still in, did nothing about the, the other one in his his beef with meat mill. Yeah, period. That's the energy. Cause I don't do what everybody else does, and you shouldn't either. Don't do what everybody else does. Get off of Instagram, get off of Snapchat, get off of Twitter, Facebook, everything, everything. Shut it down, shut it down. Limit your use on these apps, right? Limit your use on these apps and, and really get down to the nitty gritty and figure out what it is about you. That's the magic and figure out what it is about you that makes people say, oh my gosh, there she go. There she go. There's that bad B again, period. Like, figure out what it is about you. Is it the way that you do your hair? See what I'm saying? Do you, do you know how to, like, you know, lay a frontal or, you know, do it on yourself? Or are you one of those girls that you all, your nails is popping? See what I'm saying? Are you a sneakerhead? Do you know how to dress really well? Do you know how to sing? Do you know how to rap? Do you know how to dance? Like, whatever. It, do you know how to make art? Like, whatever it is. Do you know how to code? You know what I'm saying? Because we, we ain't talking about that enough in the black community. We are not talking about the coding in the black community enough. You know what I'm saying? Do you know how to, do you know how to, you know how to, to trade on the stocks? You know how to work the Bet365? Because I've been hearing about that a lot, right? But you just got to figure out what your superpower is and tap into that. And, and be unapologetic about it. Don't, don't ever feel... Oh yeah, this is a little contraption I use to grater cheese. This is not... The early 2000s, we ain't just grating cheese with we ain't getting our hands tired, okay? Walmart sis. But yeah, so we 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 it's listen, you just gotta tap into your superpowers, sis. I don't let anybody deter you or make you feel like you're doing too much. If you feel like you talking about your goals and accomplishments is bragging, you're in the wrong circle. Period. Period. I am like what? You're in the wrong circle, baby. But yeah, you should be around people that inspire you and not only just inspire you, but push you to be your best self at all times. Like, come on, man. You should be around around people that in your inner cir your inner circle, around people that shoot. Around people that genuinely want the best for you number one because we, we don't we're, we're not doing the, the like the back door vibes that get cut out for 2021 like if if i feel like someone someone's backdooring me or like they have the potential to backdoor me i'm not even like we're not even doing all of that babe like you you're getting cut simple neatly and discreetly like well, i'm not even gonna discuss it with you about that about like like some, when I say bad door, I mean some serious bad door because sometimes, you know, like sometimes you'll have like a misunderstanding with a friend and that's okay to have misunderstandings with your friend, but to have someone that literally backdoored you or did some real fouls, nah, like that's not okay. And you still keep that person around? No, we're not doing that. We're all about elevation. Period. What Quinn Leroy say? I'm only doing things that's gonna make me elevate. And yeah, straight up, as you should. As you should. Because that's the only way that you'll reach the next level in your life. And I know for me, sometimes you get to a point where you might feel stagnant in your life and whatnot. And that's because 
You gotta cleanse your space, babe. That's why I said I do my monthly reset, either the beginning or the first of every month. I do my monthly reset. So I clean my I clean my house, my room, bathrooms, all of that. Like I cleanse, I like um I sorry, I, not a cleanse, I purge my space. So like anything that I don't need or doesn't serve me for whatnot, for any for any reason, like I get rid of it. And I feel like me doing that on a monthly basis, it helps me to clean to cleanse my mind as well. Especially if you might have a little one, two things that are hanging around that no longer serve a purpose for you. You gotta get rid of it. Like seriously, and I know me. I'm the type of person like I'll keep things on, a, especially clothes. I'll be like, oh yeah, like later, like I'll wear it later, like you know, and to the point where it's things that still had tags on them, and I had no interest in, I had no reason to buy them in the first place, and I haven't worn them, and I'm probably not gonna wear them for years because that was a one one time trend, and it's like not even gonna be a thing ever. So. I just, you know, I had to let go. You know what I mean? And something as simple as that, and I, it, I'm not, I'm not just saying like, oh, like your closet or whatever. Something as simple as that, as letting go of things, even to let go of things that remind you of people from your past. Like if you have some gifts from an ex, dash that. Like a traumatic ex that left you in shambles, like bare BS and all this nonsense and side girls and all of this nonsense get rid of it i don't care what it is how it's it get rid of it sell it uh drop it in the goodwill box get rid of it right because when you start to see like especially if you see these things around and whatnot you're gonna be like yo it's just gonna remind you of that person remind you of those experiences and whatnot and i know i don't know about anybody else but for me i get i'm i'm reminded of experiences and people like even if say if someone has a certain scent and i smell that scent and it, it reminds me of that person like you know and i know people are like that i know i'm not the only i can't be the only mud girl around here like i'm not mud but you know what i mean like i can't be the only person that thinks that way right there has to be some somebody out there that thinks that way like me too but anyways i'm about to start grilling up this chicken to the best way that i can I'm not even grilling. I'm gonna put them in these zucchinis. Um, what did I need? Oh, oil from the pan. Oil. Butter. Need some good old butter. I love me some um, unsalted butter. I always use unsalted butter when I am cooking. I'm gonna move you guys a little bit closer too so you guys can see what's happening. What's happening? What's really good? Yo, Mike and Ike is freaking hilarious. Like, if you guys don't watch Mike and Ike, like, what is you doing, baby? <laughs> He's so hilarious, man. He is that guy. Okay, so we're just having butterfingers around here. Literally. Okay. So, I'm going to put this butter in the pan first. It's probably like, um, I think this is a tablespoon. It's about a tablespoon of butter. Um, don't mind me, guys. I'm just trying to take mental notes for when I have to write this, um, this recipe and drop it in the description for you guys. All right, so while that is heating up, I forgot to cut some... Onion. So I'm just going to do that while that's heating up. So spin the block real quick. Spin the blizzard. Okay, I'm dropping this olive oil quick and fast because I'm not into it. Quick and fast. All right, so let's get it. So I'm going to come with the chicken. The Pre-season up chicken, yeah. Drop it in there, one at a time. And get this little one, yin at a time. All 
All right, let's flip these and see what's happening. I'm gonna do the smaller ones first. Good. We got a nice little flare. I think I put in this one first. Let's see. This is still good. This is still. You can kind of tell. I don't know if you guys can see, but the meat starts getting a little bit white on the side. You can start to see it. So, I'm going to turn this one out. This one's good enough for me. It smells so good, guys. Okay, I'm going to wait to turn that last one again. Let me just grab the plate. See, this is what I'm telling you guys about. I got to, like, so I have my noodles in this. And I'm trying to organize my whole pantry to go with this vibe. I'm trying to be an organized soccer mom around here. Period. <laughs> so I'm not making a lot of this pasta. Just a bit. Just a bit. So that's cooking. I put it back on high. I'm gonna check this chicken again. Should be Gucci now. Wow, perfect. This is actually what I was looking for. A little more color, you know? A little more. All right, so now I'm gonna turn down the heat on this a little bit and let the residual heat from the pan cook the other side because you don't need it to be high on both sides i'm still gonna get that sear because it's already in the pot with the with the drippings and the oil from when it was cooking on the first side so we're crystal clear on getting that nice crust and sear that everyone loves to see uh, when you grill up chicken i bet i'm hungry i'm about to have a cookie one thing about me, I'm a snack in the middle of in the middle of cooking. This is bad. I'm really hungry too. Like, oh god. Yeah, I skip lunch today, so I mean that there's that, right? That's probably why. Oh yeah, it's cooking up. So that small one is done. Most definitely, because it's not as thick as the bigger one, so it won't take that long to cook all the way through. And what I like to do when I'm frying up chicken, and I like to do it with steak too, I just like to take, grab a knife, hold it down, and just make some little incisions. Don't need to be surgeons with it just to make sure that the heat passes all the way through and has an exit point so that the chicken is cooking all the way through. Because even though I did tenderize it, it's still a bit thick on one side compared to the other side, of course, right? So you just gonna rock with it and make it do what it do. And we want all of those flavors to penetrate and get inside in between those crevices where I made the incisions. So you get me, it's gonna taste lovely. And I'm so excited because, so guys, this is a Tuscan pasta. So when I initially made this pasta, I made it with, I'm going to have to cut this up. When I initially made it with this pasta, I made it with fresh tomatoes, right? And that was cool or whatever. Yeah, that was cool or whatever, but it, it just didn't give me that je ne sais quoi. It didn't up it a level. Like, it tasted nice and yes, but no. The sun-dried tomatoes, baby, that's what's going to kick this up another level now that I'm making it. This is my second time making this pasta, and I'm going to love it. And I'm going to use spinach. You can use fresh spinach, or I just, when I buy spinach, because I'm... Half of the time, I'm not making something where I'm going to use the entire bunch all at once or within the span of a week. And if you know, produce goes by 
it goes bad really quick right so i just whatever i don't use when i buy fresh spinach i put it in my freezer and i use it later on it's good as buying pre-bagged frozen spinach it's the same idea but is set you was the one banging it up instead of them banging it up in a plant or a factory you feel me so we know what was in it you get me so i think these check on these a bit these might be done it's just this one i'm worried about because this one's a bit but look how thick is still you know let's see You can see that there's juices coming out of this as I'm cooking. Yeah, but these are definitely finito. Let's grab this plate because I want this one to make a mess. Boy, the beers. Boy, yeah. Yeah, so these are done. I'm going to put those to the side. take up this pot I'm gonna clean it but before I do that I'm gonna give my pasta noodles a little swell 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 baby and guys please 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 baby please please girl please you don't need to put oil into your pasta water for it to cook take it from me a girl went to culinary school so please do not do that it's not necessary you just need to stir it and give it a good mix a few times while it's cooking to make sure everything doesn't stick, right? And I know, like, yeah, you can get those stubborn noodles that will just stick, and that's okay, that's fine. Like, it's not the end of the world, but if you constantly stir it and let it do its thing, it'll be fine. And also, you want to be cooking your noodles in a pot that's big enough so that they have enough room to expand because remember when pasta cooks when it's when you're boiling pasta it's expanding remember it it's similar to rice it expands as it's cooking right same vibes you just want to give it a good stir stir you don't have to babysit it or anything just give it a, a few good stirs and it's okay all right we're not worried about that anymore get back to this pan I know sometimes people will be like, well, oh, just use the same pan and, and make the sauce in. Yes, but because I fried, sorry, I pan seared this chicken in this pan, it had a bit of, you know, those little burn droppings in the bottom pan. I don't know about anybody else, but I don't want that in my pasta, especially because I'm making white sauce. If I was making red sauce, let's do the do's, put it in there, you know, get all that flavor. But because I'm making a white sauce, I don't want that. I want my sauce to be rich, creamy, and white, period, like snow. So, <laughs> so I just rinse it out with water so that I could get out the little parts that were, you know, the burns or, you know, the pocket flavors, the flavor savers. It's called them the flavor savers. So we can get that part out so that when I go in to saute up my onions and my garlic, they won't burn easily and nobody likes burnt garlic i don't know about you but i don't like burnt garlic i love me some garlic but not burnt garlic okay we ain't doing that so i'm gonna let this heat up i'm gonna let the water that's in the pan evaporate because there's water and oil and then i'm gonna come back spin the block and drop in my garlic and onions spin the block it's getting late babe let's go okay this pan's already heating up so i'm just gonna come in per get my candy dandy spatula i want to get all those flavors from the chicken just in there in there in there yo 
garlic. I'm Jamaican, so you know you say garlic. Coming with your wine. Let me measure this. Ooh, this is the exact measurement I wanted to. Let's go. All right, so we added the wine and then turned down the heat because we want the wine to reduce, but we don't want to cook out the alcoholic properties out of it. So we just want to you know, do a little zap, a little zing. So we turn it down. Yeah, I, turn it, I think I turned it down. Yeah. And I could smell this, smell so bomb, diggity bomb. Now for the magic. Voila, magic. Pour in either some whipping cream or half and half, however you like to give it up on a Sunday, baby. I'm gonna, in the meantime, check on this pasta. It's almost done, a few more minutes. Actually, let me just taste it. I think I might even need, maybe just one more minute. Ugh. Told you guys, and you guys are gonna see that you really don't need oil. Like, there's no need to put the oil business in your pasta. All right, guys. Pasta is done. So now I'm gonna grab my strainer. I'm gonna come with the noodles and we're gonna strain it. Oh, darn. You know, I forgot to save some of the pasta water. Oh. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna shake some of it out in here so I can save some of the pasta water. Simple. Come on, man, there's a million ways to get something done. Don't worry about it. So because my sauce isn't ready, but my pasta is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some cold water over the pasta, right? Just to stop it from cooking, to stop the cooking process. I'm gonna shock it with some cold water. Shock it, get me. I'm gonna use my fork. Just move, move it around so all the, I don't have a spray, so if I had a spray, I would use it, but. What you gotta do, you do it, we don't make excuses, we make it happen, simple. So just enough so where the pasta's not hot, because we're gonna dip it back into the sauce anyways, and it's gonna get hot again, so it's still a bit warm. So we don't want it to be sitting here, cooking in that meat in that time you get me and it depends on how i feel sometimes i might put see we, see, we, see there we go there we go that sauce is bubbling babe it, it's bubbling it's doing it's doing what it's supposed to do yeah so sometimes let me get my whisk sometimes i'll put a little bit of um You guys don't even understand, this smells heavenly. So you know, it's a good thing I'm measuring because I don't know how we gonna rock and do this. I can add more or less as I need, right? I think I might even use the whole carton because I have a lot of um, have a good, a substantial amount of pasta, right? Okay. So yeah, sometimes it depends on how I'm feeling. I might put a little bit of, um, I might put a little bit of olive oil or butter, unsalted butter, 
onto my pasta while it's hot just to prevent it from sticking while it's sitting down there waiting for me to come drop it in whatever sauce I'm making for it. You get me? So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and add in my Parmesan. Well, not a lot, a little goes a long way. Cause it's just enough to get flavor. And remember Parmesan salty in itself. So you don't need a whole lot of it to get the flavors from it. And fresh Parmesan. Y'all see that I grated the Parmesan. This was no store-bought, pre-grated, none of that. You want fresh Parmesan. Reason, be and when you're making anything with, um, um, that requires cheese and you're making a sauce from scratch, you definitely want to use fresh, freshly grated cheese. And it does make all of the difference because grated treat cheese that's already grated it comes with um i don't know if it's coated in flour or something whatever preservatives that it's coated in will alter your sauce and trust me i've done it i'm speaking from experience when you use those those shredded cheeses from the grocery store and you drop it in your sauce and if you've made a roux um, or you're, you're doing what I'm doing right now, using the whipping cream to make the sauce, it's going to alter the sauce. It's, it's going to offset it. But when you do it from scratch and you use grated cheese, you can alter the sauce to your liking. Trust me, I've used the shredded cheese and I've gotten just one big glob, you know, and it doesn't work out well. So I'm gonna let this, you know, Mary all together. You're gonna let the Parmesan marry with the whipping cream and marry with the with the with the wine that we poured in there. All of that, and let it just thicken up. Let it do its thug fizzle. It's thug fizzle. You know what I mean? But the way how I'm feeling, yeah, I'm putting more of this. So that's how we feel it. Simple. I'm just gonna finish it out and finish it out strong. Coming out hot. Let that bubble in the meantime. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this chicken. Can you feel me? I don't even know how to do this right now. How do I do this, guys? I'm not even gonna show you cutting. Okay, so I added some more cheese and now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my seasoning. Gonna use that Meals by Meals garlic pepper. And the same chicken seasoning, but you know, I wonder if I should go on easy. I'm gonna go on easy with the chicken seasoning. I think it was a little easy. Yeah, just a little, not too much, cause I'm just remembering the chicken seasoning has salt in it, um, and the garlic, not the garlic, the Parmesan cheese has its own salt in it as well. So I don't wanna go overboard. So let's start off small, and if I need to add more, you can always build. That's why you taste and go, taste and go, taste and go. I grated chopped parsley. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some of that in there too. Just to give it a little, you know, je ne sais quoi. A little sign sign, you feel me? And it's gonna get thicker as it cools down as well. So remember that when you're making any sauce. Don't wanna go overboard. Let me taste a little bit now. A little sun, a little sun is missing, shorty. I know exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, yeah. Don't play with her, she's not on a dance. So put a little bit of parsley in it. I love adding greenery. Like when you're cooking, you gotta make everything different. You gotta add color. We eat with our eyes first before anything else. So you gotta come correct. So I'm just cutting up this, um, spinach I have here because it's frozen so I and I put it in bunches I put, I, like I literally just washed a bunch and called it that 
I'm gonna go ahead and taste the sauce one more time. For sure, I love this. And then I'm gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna add in the sun-dried tomatoes, and I believe this also has sodium. Yeah, this also has sodium in it, so you're gonna go on easy with that. And I love the fact, I didn't make this, I didn't make this pasta too salty, because you know what, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm making it and I'm sharing the recipe with other people, so you can adjust it to your, your palate, right? And I'm actually gonna cut some of these because some of them are a bit too big for my liking. Remember the oil and flavor from the sun-dried tomatoes is gonna add another flavor. So we're just building flavor on top of flavor around here. And let me go ahead and just turn down this heat because we're good on the heat right now. I don't want the sauce to burn. Let me turn it down a little bit, reduce that. Drop these in. Yeah, see the sauce is getting cheesy as well. If you can tell, it's getting a bit thicker. I'm just gonna cut one more sun-dried tomato. I will literally, when I was like younger, like her age, my daughter is three, I would literally sit down there and go in the fridge and bite the tomatoes and put them back. My daughter did the same thing like last year or two years ago. I couldn't believe it. I had to send a picture to my mom. Like, mom, you'll never believe. She's like, wow, she's definitely your child. And <laughs> I know that's right, sis. She is for sure. I'm gonna add my spinach now. Spinach is a bit wonky, but that's okay because once it cooks, it'll be a different story. Remember, the spinach is cold, so that's going to change the temperature of your sauce. So just keep that in mind before adding your pasta. If you're using fresh pasta, if you're using fresh spinach, you could add your pasta in right with the spinach because spinach takes no time to cook, baby. No time at all. And I love me some spinach. And even with spinach, I like to put a little bit more than I need sometimes too. Just because remember, like it wilts when um when you're cooking it. Well, fresh spinach is anyways. Um thin spinach, because it already has water, it's already absorbed water, it's not gonna wilt down as much as um fresh spinach would um frozen. Oh, I made a mess. Oh, see you guys, even I make messes too, and I have hiccups and, and mess ups in the kitchen. Just quickly before it does some real damage on here in these streets. All right, so I'm just gonna clean up and then I'm gonna add my pasta. All right, guys, so it is come palito. I am so ready to eat. I'm just about to drop the pasta in there. Just give me a second, let me just clean up a little bit. You know, we clean as we cook so that it's not too much of a task for us to clean up the entire kitchen. We're done. So remember that pasta water, I saved a bit. Okay, I mean it evaporated mainly, but just a little bit. You don't need a whole bunch. That's good enough. And now, and now we are going to add our pasta. Okay, I'll just eat that. <laughs> work it in, work it in. I'm gonna take some of the cheese I had left over. I'm gonna sprinkle that in. All right, we're almost at the finish line, guys. We're almost there. We're almost there. A mess. 
<laughs> trying to like oh my arm this is a workout man holy All you can use a little salt and a little bit of pepper. Hit it, hit it, hit that. I cool. That should be good now. Mm hmm. Guys, I am making a freaking mess on the stove and my counter. This sauce is just bussin', like, bussin'. I can turn the pot off now, too. Gucci, I co, let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna take some of the pasta. This sauce came out really good, guys. I'm really proud of this sauce, okay? And to plate it, when we when I have long noodles to plate it, I go like this. I spin it around on the plate in the middle of the plate, just so that the pasta is not just you know plopped down in the plate. Like that does not look appealing. But that's the best you can do in terms of plating long noodle pastas. Woo, we making a mess again because we just make messes around here. That's just that's just what I do, babe. I just make a mess. Like I think three is good enough to be honest with you. It's falling a bit, but that's okay. And then, because this this gonna go on the Snapchat, you feel me? We want to everybody to know what's in this pasta. So we got the tomatoes, the sundry tomatoes. We're gonna pick out a piece, a few pieces, a few good looking pieces. Some spinach. Oh, we don't want too much sundry tomatoes. Gotta let them know what's in here. It's not on me, it's in me, you feel me? Then I'm gonna take some of my grilled chicken. Put it on time. Cause once I get them. Yo, I love me some um William Neem again. Um Trey Songs, yo. That that old Trey Songs ain't nothing to play with, boy. Don't play with him. He is not one of them. So I'm just gonna. Do it real cute, real nice, real cute, real cute. Real cute, even if it's a piece that doesn't really go. You're doing it real cute. And we're gonna move this little sun dried and put the next chicken there. You guys need to understand the plating is serious, babe. Like. It's real serious. I'm gonna spoon some of the sauce that's in the bottom of the pan. If I can get any. Good, good going. We spoon some of it onto the chicken, make it look real, real nice. Real nice. Don't worry guys, 2021, hmm. I'm up in my own plating. Like, you guys don't understand me. When I say, I just look forward to stepping on my own neck. You guys don't even understand. I want to step on my own neck. Um, the foot. I I'm too worried. I'm too busy. We ain't busy. We productive. I'm I'm too much into my lane and focus on my own product productivity to notice if somebody else's grass is greener than mine. Per, I'm stepping on my own neck. That's it. It's just me versus me. That's the only person I see. I don't know about anybody else, but you are the only person you should see. Your competition is your lack of self-discipline, your um, your lack of communication, your um, what else? What else? What else you got? Your 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 um, your excuses, your time, your poor time management. Like those are who. That is what I'm competing against. I am not competing against any people, but the old Mila, like the old Mila and the bad habits she had. That's who I'm competing against, period, poo. Like, and that's that's just how I'm gonna give it up. 
you're gonna hit it with some no let me hit it with the the chicken seasoning first i like to hit it with a little bit just to give it a little color in on top in terms of the pictures for pictures and parsley we're gonna be real light with the parsley i mean there's not much left in here because i used some of the sauce but y'all get it y'all see it y'all see it all right i'm about to show you guys the the plate up close and personal because you know this is a meal what, what is it i don't even know what this segment is gonna be called but girl this is a what a cooking chat that's what we doing we doing cooking chat okay guys so this is how the final plate looks i'm so proud I'm about to hit this on the Snapchat real quick. But, <laughs> alright guys, it was cool chatting with y'all, catching up, cutting up, all of that, and making this lovely pasta. What is this? Tuscan, Tuscan chicken pasta. I'm about to beat the brakes off this plate real now, right now. So, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget, like, comment, su subscribe, and show your girl some love. Holla. <laughs> I got the juice and the squeeze, double tap on the gram, I'm a tease. I got the juice and the squeeze, double tap on the gram, I'm a tease. In the DM, he begging me, please. Like, Millie, just give me a piece.